I've like got my hi guys down to a science. Like I've just realized that, that there's like a certain way that I say hi guys every video. I feel like I should start mixing it up like hi guys in some video I'm like hi guys. Like I'm kind of trying to change it. I don't know. That was kind of a lame joke except for the fact that I'm not fully joking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start doing that. So and you'd swear I'm like they're paying me to always drink these drinks. They're not. No. I'm paying them lots of money. Let's hop in. I've been meaning to mention this for a few months. I'm in love with this. <laughs> um, I feel like if you've been on my channel long enough, you know that I like smells that smell like you can eat them. Like very sweet, sugary, vanilla-y, coconut-y smells. Um, and I have been using, this is so random, but there are no words. I have been using this Vitabath body wash. It's sulfate and paraben free, and it is in dreamy pink frosting. Guys, I'm not kidding. I wish I was kidding. Not kidding. It literally smells like, I don't even, like you're baking Funfetti cookies in the shower. I just spit all over you guys. Ah, it smells good. Did you like my reenactment of my surprise over the shower gel? Okay, so the next thing is a lipstick, and this is the e.l.f. Um, Studio Line Lipstick in Nicely Nude. You're doing a nude, at least in my opinion, or a really just flattering color. You want to look for something that is your lips but a little more rich, something that will brighten up your face naturally. So this color, see they're very similar. These and these are kind of the colors of my lips, but more rich. Um, this is a $3 lipstick. Where can I swatch for you? Literally YouTube's worst swatcher. It's like a problem. Yeah, I really like it. It's really creamy, really buttery. Um, it's pretty color. It's $3, which is really, really awesome. I really like this lipstick. And for $3, you can get a Target online. It's a good price. Okay, so the next thing I've actually, I used in my last tutorial. This was recommended to me by my friend Allison, or Amarix here on YouTube. Um, I am a little bit obsessed with paint pots. I don't own, why am I saying that? No, I pretty much only own Bear Study. I only own Bear Study, but I am obsessed with that I've gone through like four of them. Um, and I was telling Allison, I was like, oh, I'm thinking of buying some more, but I just really like the neutral, like I want neutral paint pots. And she was like, you should check out the Maybelline color tattoos. They're like, she said they were identical to paint pots, the like the consistency, because I didn't really, like I tried Benefits Creaseless Cream Eyeshadows, I didn't really like them. And she was like, well, if you like paint pots, you'll like these. So she is correct. I bought two, I don't, the other one's my bathroom, but this one has been my favorite. This is the this is the Color Tattoo Eye Studio. It's 24 hour, which is really weird, but whatever. Um, it's called Bad to the Bronze, and it is a beautiful. I like it because it's not like it's definitely bronze, but it's not like orange coppery bronze. Does that make sense? See that? I always make weird faces when I'm trying to swipe. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really beautiful. My phone's ringing. <sighs> My mommy's calling me. That was convenient too. I got to wash my hands. Um, it feels identical to a paint pot, and the color payoff is amazing. And thanks, Allison. <laughs> okay, the next thing I don't really feel very original, but I figured I might as well put it in here because it's the truth. And that is my favorite fragrance this month, and that is Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture. Um, my Viva La Juicy perfume. Um, I was cheap. I didn't want to buy the big bottle, so I bought like two small ones at CVS. <laughs> Because there was like a deal or a sale or something like that. Um, I don't know. And I've had them for a while. But this month, for some reason, it's the only smell that when I go in my bathroom, I'm like, no, use something different today, Nicole. And I start smelling everything. And I'm like, no, this is what I want to use. <laughs> I'm like scared to breathe right now, but I'm out of breath because I don't want to breathe in perfumes. <laughs> I hope I don't die of inhaling perfume. Um, This is the perfume that I have been reaching for all month. Yay. All right, guys, so um, I was gonna say in this video that I've never owned a makeup brush set before, but that's not true. I got a brush set at iMats, but I didn't really use it very much. Um, a couple months ago, I got this brush set from Sedona Lace, um, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of think part of the reason I've used it so much more than any of my other brush sets, or my, than my other brush set, and then a lot of my other brushes, is because they're freaking pink. Okay, you can't tell me that's not cute because they're pink. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, some of them I don't get as much use out of. I don't get as much use of this powder brush because I love my Sephora powder brush. But some of these brushes I use all the time. I use the blending brush, it's just as good as the MAC one. Um, I use the pencil brush all the time right there. Can you guys even see that? Eh, I'm not good at this. Um, I use this brush for contouring, highlighting, uh, it depends what I want to use it for. Um, I use this brush a lot. So I'd say 
Mm -hmm. No, I use this one a lot. So I've loved having a brush set, and like I said, I've loved having a brush set that is really cute. If you guys are going to get a brush set, why not get a brush set that has color in it? Um, oh, shoot, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, well, I really like this Sedona Lace. Oh my gosh, brush set. All right, next. Okay, so the next two products are for skin. The first one is this Kiehl's Super Fluid UV Defense Ultralight Sunscreen. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that I love this sunscreen. Um, it's that I switch out my skincare products sometimes, and I just feel like maybe I should just show you guys what I'm using just cause, but I'm not like obsessed with this, because I've also been using this and a Dr. Lancer sunscreen as well. Um, but this is definitely like a fluid, like it says, like it's like watery. But um, I like this because it's SPF 50, and if I'm going outside of my house, I always use the 50 and if I'm going to be staying inside that day, I still use the sunscreen on my face because of hyperpigmentation. Um, I still use the 30, the Dr. Lancer one, uh, because I like, I like leave all my windows open and let the sun shine through and all that stuff. Is that a song? Let the sun shine. I think I made that up, but I feel like it was coming from like a hair song. Anyways. So this is what I've been using. Um, was there anything else to that? I don't know. For those of you that aren't using sunscreen, man, get on that bandwagon because um, if you've ever had acne, especially if you have acne, especially if you have acne, but make sure it's one that's not aggravating your acne because you don't want the acne to leave behind a scar. And a lot of the times the scarring is done from the sun searing, like burning the scar, the acne into your face. So you want sunscreen so that you're not left with a little like freckle behind. Um, I have lots of little freckles that I'm fighting with. Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigmentation, Pigment Lightening Serum. It's got 2% hydroquinone, and it's right here. This is pretty expensive. I think this was like a $65 bottle. Um, it can burn a little bit, and there's a lot of iffy stuff out there on hydroquinone. A lot of people say that it's really bad for your liver. Um, you know, I think it's... It's people who are using it, I think, in large doses. Um, the depression that I felt for my skin, in my opinion, was more unhealthy than if I was just using products that, in my opinion, were not healthy. You know what I mean? But showed results. Like, I feel like the happiness is going to fight any little amounts of toxins you're putting on your face. That's totally not scientific, and I'm sure it's just something that I'm using to validate my uh, unhealthy uh, skin products I'm using, or unhealthy, and that's the thing is it's all up for debate anyways. All I know is you have to do what's right for you, and what's right for me right now is using whatever I need to use to clear my skin. And I'm not even doing anything extreme. I mean, I've told you guys, I'm using Retin-A, and then like a um, topical antibiotic with the benzoyl peroxide, I'm using this, and I'm using other stuff for my scarring that I will show you in my video next month. Um, on Instagram, or no, on Twitter the other day, I kind of had a little rant about Zara. Um, I really love the look, the stuff that Zara sells, but almost every piece of clothing that I've ever purchased there has fallen apart, or when I washed it, it shrunk. Even if I washed it on cold and air dried it, it still shrunk. I'm like, how is this even possible? Um, the only things that I have bought there that have really done well for me so far have been their, um, like, I think they call them boyfriend cardigans. I'm not sure if they're meant to fit like this. Uh, I buy a large so that they do fit like this, but I purchased a beige cardigan from there and I wore it till there were holes in it. And the other day, I purchased this kind of taupe cardigan from there. It's really long and oversized. Um, I like it that way. I am obsessed with their cardigans. Like I said, if I had a lot of money, I would buy a ton of them in a bunch of different colors. Um, they're not super expensive, but if you want a bunch, they are. They're like $50 a piece. Okay, so last but not least, um, I don't want to say, I'm not starting a book club, that's not even what it is, but kind of, not really. I just want to start letting you guys know books that I am going to be reading through in the upcoming month. Um, I read through multiple books at once, but I thought I would let you guys know in my favorites videos, like, one book that I feel like you guys would really appreciate too. So I am re I'm going to be reading How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. I am a couple chapters into that book already, and it's an amazing, amazing book. I think a lot of us are stopped by the, th like, we have things that we want to do in life and we're stopped we are stopped from doing them, is that the word I'm looking for, um, by fear. Fear of what happens if we fail, fear of what happens if we succeed, uh, fear of what our family members are going to think, our friends are going to think, and this book really addresses it in a really practical way. Um, so if you're looking, and I think it really applies to everyone, to no matter what you're doing, Dale Carnegie is a really good writer, and I really, really like this book, so I would really, really recommend How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. <laughs> is that it? 
oh yeah and I'm just letting you guys know um if you don't already Dan actually just started a YouTube channel I feel like if you want to you should subscribe and tell him like upload more upload more and like tweet him that and all that crap and be like upload more we can share him on I don't know why I said that in the most obnoxious voice ever anyways I guess I will see you guys next time um have a great rest of the day enter the contest if you feel like it and I'll see you next time bye guys I did a video on this for those of you that are actually wondering that for yourself I'm gonna link that in this video because it was one of my videos I did a long time ago didn't like not a whole lot of people saw it but I thought anyways that it was valuable information because it's what helped me 